time up this late. Bitch, it's tight, it's the coat, yeah, the lick. I just been on my tip, bitch, I can't lose focus, bitch. You ain't seeing niggas since 20, that coupe open. Hey, had to sub off the bitch, ain't gonna just leave them home, leave my number, nigga. Oh, bitch, it's all mine, nigga. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get myself ready for the favorites part. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Lynn back at it again with another video. And today I am here to serve you another video. <laughs> Today's gonna be a chit chat with me, catch up, and we're gonna do like a favorites haul video. I don't know. It's like beauty products, hair products, shoes, anything you can think of that has just been my favorite lately. So I'm going to share with you guys what's been working for me. If it doesn't work for you, then I hope you find what you're looking for. But um, hopefully some of these items will work for you too. So a lot's been happening or a lot's happened. The negative energy has been clearing out and the positivity is coming, flowing back in. So what's changed? Um, nothing's really changed. I'm still, I work every day now a lot more than I used to. Um, I have a new boo, the teases. A lot of you guys probably didn't know that I already had a boo, but um, that's all said and done with. And I know some of you are probably thinking like, Lynn, so it happened so fast. But the thing is, I believe some people were meant to be put in your life at certain times. And if it works out, then it works out, right? Um, I don't really like to call myself a bartender just yet because I'm still learning but um, I made a lot of progress and now I waitress and bartend at work so that's been really different and fun for me I've always wanted to be a bartender since I was like 19 years old so now it's finally happening at 23 and hopefully more opportunities come up and stuff like that yeah nothing's really changed just trying to take care of business and hoping for the best and I did change my hair a little bit too it's been getting blonder and blonder you guys probably can't really tell a difference but um, it's been in the process of being completely flat um, I had it silver at one point and then you know the silver fades out really fast I'm planning to change it again pretty soon but I'm gonna wait for my hair to kind of calm down and get back to like its healthy state because right now it's a little bit weak and brittle. Life's just different now, huh? Life's just very different now. Maybe that story will be for another video in the long run, but I think it's a little too fresh to address it and there's no need, right? Let's leave it in the past. Let's leave it in the past. Okay, so one thing um, Carla just said, she's here with me right now, she just said that I should do a toxic relationship or like, what do you mean? Like, she wants me to do a toxic relationship video. Well, you know, like the red flags and like, when yeah. it's time to like cut it. Yeah, like when you see red flags or you don't know how to um, pick out like, you know, is this person good or bad or whatever for you and stuff like that. If you guys want to see that, just let me know and I'll do it. You know, I'll do it. I love talking videos. I think that's like my, sh my strongest point. Um, I'd rather do talking videos than me <laughs> doing challenges and stuff like that. Maybe later on, like, you know, when I get a place and stuff like that, I'll do some more fun videos. But, um, yeah, like, give me a topic. I'll figure something out. I'm also thinking about doing a hygiene video, um, just based on, like, good hygiene, what's considered good hygiene, and, like, what I do to try to keep my hygiene flowing. Let me know if you guys want to see that as well. Um, I'm happy to be back. And I'm happy to see you guys. I hope you're happy to see me back on camera too. It feels very different um, because it's been a little while, guys. It's been a couple months and I've just been laying low and, um, you know, getting my mind right, self-care, self-love, getting myself in a state where I'm, like, confident and I love myself now. Like, to be completely honest, like, some days, you know, everybody has days where they feel like they look good and they feel good, but lately my confidence has just been, like, like it's just been shattered but it's, it's getting back up as you can tell because I'm back right um, it's gonna take a few more times and then it'll be a, hopefully it'll be a little more consistent and stuff like that so with that said I'm happy to see you guys stay tuned if you want to see the favorites part of this video um, this is just all kinds of random stuff 
that I have found that works for me and I want to share it with you guys because um, I'm pretty sure you guys have questions and all that stuff and I just want to let you know, let you guys know what I've been loving lately. And it's going to be, it's September now and I feel like a new person because fall is coming up and so that's why I have this little, you know, it's unnecessary but I have it anyways. It's like a little big hoodie type of thing and it's like from Forever 21. <laughs> it looks like a little red riding hood. <laughs> but yeah, it's like a little cozy. Let me get up a little bit. It's like a little cozy um, cardigan or whatever you want to call it. It has like little buttons on here. You know, I doubt you could see that, but it's really cute and comfy and I love it. It reminds me of like one of those fleece throws, the blankets that you leave on your on your couches and you just kind of like wrap up in it. You're like, that's what it feels like. On to the next thing. Girl, you have no idea. My skin is so dry in the winter time, but then in the summertime, it gets like oily on my T-zone and stuff like that. And then when it's like that time of month, I'll start to um, break out like just a little pimple here and there but one time I remember my face was starting to break out like right here where I do my contour and it was like big pimples like the one under your skin to the point where you can't pop it because it's under your skin and it's so big and it hurts you know I typed in like skincare products I did my research and what I found was that the um, the witch hazel is supposed to work some people don't like the smell some people just don't like the fact that um, it just doesn't work for them and you know if it doesn't work for you then it doesn't work for you but it's been working wonders on my skin lately if you're from somewhere else I don't know where you would get it at but I just get this one from Walmart and then it's the Dickinson's hydrating toner with rose water and it says moisturizes skin alcohol free it has vitamin E and then it says it's for softening conditioning and gently removing impurities without over drying there's different kinds of witch hazels there's um like the regular witch hazel which doesn't really smell that well but this one I have found that it smells so good like it smells like rose water you know very like citrusy but natural I don't know I really love it and they have different flavors I think they have like a lemon one and then um, I'm not sure what the other one was but they have a yellow one a pink one and then another color but this is the one that I like there we go yeah so Screenshot your phones and make sure you go and get yourself one of these. So basically how it works is you get out of the shower and then you like dry off or whatever and then right before you moisturize your skin, you get like a cotton pad or a cotton ball and then you put a little bit, a little bit goes a long way and then you just kind of use it like a toner, like you put it like going upwards, a little bit down your neck, everywhere on your face and then it dries within like five seconds and then you just put your whatever moisturizer you like. Um, I went through this so quick that I, I have a second one now, so I really love this product. My choice of moisturizer is the one by Shea Moisture. This seems to have worked for me so well. It's the African Black Soap Bamboo Charcoal Hydrating Jelly Moisturizer with Aloe. It has like kind of like a gray color, and like when you look at it, you're like, uh, like do I really want to put that on my face? It's like super gray. And you know, it, it feels super jelly. Let me open it for you. So it looks like this inside. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super jelly. And then you put it on your hand, like just a little bit, cause it's jelly. So like you see, you can't really even see the gray anymore. And like you just rub it in and like it dries super fast too. And it's super moisturizing. With my dry skin, it works better with like jelly moisturizers instead of like an actual lotion moisturizer because this one just feels more hydrating and it sucks in all the water. My face absorbs all the water in the jelly moisturizer. So I feel like it, it works pretty good too like if you run out of primer and then you just put this on and then it, it works just fine. I promise you. The thing that I like about this is that it doesn't have any harsh chemicals in it. You just gotta read the label, <laughs> okay? I can't read it all to you. <laughs> I get it from Target. I'm pretty sure I get it from Target, but you can get it from Walmart too. And this is my second bottle or my second jar and it just works really good. I just, I recommend it to everybody. Just try it, okay? You don't need to wash it off. It's just face moisturizer. You just put it on, rub it in and you're good to go. The jelly is going to like, when I first used this, the jelly really threw me off because I was like, am I supposed to wash it? Like it's really wet. It just like looks gray, you know? So I'm like thinking like, oh my gosh, like what is this? But I promise you, once you 
get the hang of using it it's just so good and you're never gonna want to go back to regular like lotion face lotions you know next thing that I want to share with you guys is the Huda Beauty and I know you've seen this from my first first video and like I still haven't stopped using it I love it I love it I love it I love it it's what I have on right now um, it just makes my skin so smooth and flawless and um, it just I don't know no other foundation has really worked for me lately I've tried to go back to the um, makeup forever the foundation stick I tried to go back because I really used to love that one too but then I just ended up returning it and getting another one of these because it just works so well I think it retails for like $50 you can get it at um, Sephora about like 50 60 bucks but it's worth it I'm telling you a little bit goes a long ways I use this thing every day for work and it just like it's this is only my second bottle from the first video that was the first bottle and then this is the second one so this stuff works really good I really recommend it okay next beauty item is the lipstick from Milani that I've showed you guys a long time ago and um, it's just a like a gold packaging and then it has a color down here my favorite color is the one in 69 and it says matte beauty 69 <laughs> this is like literally like my thing like if I came out with a lipstick a makeup line anything like that this would be my color my type of like everyday wear it works for me going out it works for every day I just love how versatile it is and it's just amazing so creamy and matte and perfect and um, this is just my shit like I've just bought so many of these every time I buy these it's like I buy two at a time one for my purse and then one for like my makeup station at home you know like you gotta have one to go because you can't have a must lipstick and not have it with you when you're out and about you know and then what I use right before this lipstick every morning every day before I do my makeup is one of these the Vaseline I've talked about this so many times to you guys I don't know if you remember but this is what it is it's just a little a baby vaseline it's like meant for chapstick and stuff like that can you guys see it's not wanting to focus but um yeah so i have one of the i have one of these in my purse dude this is how serious it is i have one of these at home and then i have one in the car and then i have one in my bag i actually have two in my bag right now but like this thing is even more serious like obsessively for me this is even more serious to have than the lipstick like it just these two together oh my gosh perfect match perfect match but um, they have different flavors they have this is a rosy lips and soft um, soft for soft pink lips so this is gonna have like a little pink tint to your lips and then they have the cocoa butter one and then I think they have another one it's like caramel brulee or something but it's like a white little bottle like this and you just pop it in your bag and then you pop it back out and then you just use it it's so good forgot the um, shade and light contour palette by Kat Von D this baby has been with me for a few years I I'm pretty sure I've had it for two years if I'm not mistaken I know they have two different um, shade colors but I have the darker one one's like a lighter palette and then the darker palette because I'm obviously a little bit more tan but oh my gosh this thing is my ride or die like you can tell how much I use it it's like so dirty and like I'm in need for a new one and then like the mirrors cracked oops I just cut into it this has already been so panned it's not even funny anymore so like this is the darker shade there's different shades in here but I honestly really love this contour palette with this contour palette I don't need anything else before this one I used to use the Hoola Benefit one as I get more tan in the summertime I just feel like it's not as dark enough so that way this one I have three different shades and then I use this one when I'm more tan in the summer and then these two on a daily basis and then all three of these mix ooh, you're gonna be snatched all the way up into the heavens girl <sighs> Carla's over here laughing at me I can't I really can't <laughs> It's been a while. Let me get a drink of water real quick. She thirsty, whatever. Done with the beauty product. Um, now we're gonna talk about some hair, some skincare. Oh wait, I forgot this. So I know all you guys know about the Mario Badescu spray, and I've always used the rose water one. But oh my lord, 
I have fell in love with this cucumber flavor and this just has been working for me this has always been my thing I love this brand the Mari Badescu anything with that brand I will take I will love I would caress and I would use it all until the bottle's all gone <laughs> but um, I really love this the spray this is the only setting spray I use I've used the Morphe one I've used the Urban Decay one I've used the MAC one but the thing with those ones I feel like it makes my skin feel very sticky sometimes but all natural girl these Mari Badescu ones will never let you down with a sticky face <laughs> <laughs> but in all seriousness this stuff is really good I really appreciate this and then next thing is the thing is you don't understand people who have eczema and really dry skin you need to get yourself one of these and sensitive skin at that right so this is the Luberderm body lotion and it says advanced therapy lotion intensively hydrates extra dry skin enriched with vitamins E and B5 and skin essential lipids provides 24-hour moisturization with a clean non-greasy feel that's the tea right there the non-greasy feel it's super moisturizing but it's not um, greasy you know what I mean it's just like your skin just drinks up all of this stuff like it's just so and then I realized that the scented um, moisturizer from like Victoria's Secret, Bath and Body Works, they just don't work for me because my skin gets irritated because there's chemicals, like harsh chemicals and like um, whatever they put in it to make it smell fruity or like whatever flavor. It just really irritates my skin, especially after shaving, ladies. I know what you're thinking, like, yes, Lynn, I understand, but no, like this will make you feel like a new person all over again. When you first shave and then you just get out the shower and you glide this on your skin, oof, 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 it's going to be hot fire flames. This has such a subtle smell, but it it, it smells really good, but um, it's nothing too strong and overpowering to the point where it irritates your skin, it makes you feel greasy, yeah, no. So done with this, now we're going to go on to this bad boy right here what this is is i got this from target um you could also get this from target but i got this from target and this is the raw sugar bath fizzers soothe heal and revive made from a pure cold press blend of lemon eucalyptus and sea salt to revive body and spirit and then it's in the flavor lemon sugar oh it smells so good the thing is I wish that this thing would fizz a lot more like a bath bomb, but obviously it's not a bath bomb. As you can tell, like almost with everything that I've shown you guys, it's almost like everything's like natural ingredients with like aloe, charcoal, rose water, um, cucumber and green tea. I use a lot of natural ingredients on my skin because I feel like it works better and it just makes me feel better um, knowing that I'm putting all natural things in my body. Maybe some of these will have like little to minimum chemicals, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Anyways, what I was saying was these bath fizzers, um, I wish they were more like a bath bomb and they fizz real nice, but the thing is, this is more for like a, a calming bath. It's more for like the soft feeling on your skin. I used this for the first time the other day in the bath and oh my gosh, my skin was to die for. Like, <sighs> next time in another video, I'll show you guys the shaver that I use when I have a freshly bought one because I don't want to show you my shaver that's all like beat up and stuff but I'll show you what kind of um, shavers I use and like they're basically the um, the Venus brand I think so all you have to do is change out the head so you don't have to throw away the whole thing every single time you just change out the heads that have the soap around it and the razor blades and stuff like that so that used with this after oh. <laughs> well that didn't go well that shaver used with this in your bath and then when you get out you use this oh you're ready for a D appointment sis <laughs> no but all jokes aside you're gonna be feeling really good about your skin because this this little yellow cube right here does wonders and um, yeah it drops in the water it kind of like gets foam like not foamy but it fizzes like soda soda fizz and then it'll kind of like calm down but then this thing will look like a sponge and it'll get smaller and smaller and smaller and then it smells so good like I guess the smell is supposed to soothe heal and revive when you're smelling it, it's supposed to relax you and stuff like that so I've been loving this and 
it's been working wonders like on a hard stressful day especially if you had work all day every day you know all week you pop in one of these when you get home and you just sit in the bath and boom you're ready to go let me show you a close-up there we go and that's what it looks like and it has little cubes inside i know you guys are probably thinking like okay lynn we don't want to see your drawers or your underwear in this video but you know it's washed it's clean and um it's fairly new and i have to tell my sisters where to get these items and what they look like these are my favorite types of underwears that i've been loving like the seamless and it's like a spandex material it's like in this beautiful plum color and i i loved it so much that i i got it in this color and then i got it in a nude color but that one's dirty right now i won't show you that but um yeah so it's just like super seamless there's no like sewing lines and it just feels really soft like you know on your skin it feels like you're not even wearing any underwear and like it just feels so good it's great for like that time of month it's just so perfect it's so beautiful if you wear this like high-waisted ooh, ooh, your booty contour is gonna be like yeah get yourself one of these from Target and they're five bucks a piece so go get yourself one and try it out so next this next item I'm very very excited about it <laughs> because um, Bebe went into the store to get himself some shoes but then I fell in love it was love at first sight you know I laid my eyes on these shoes and oh my lord I don't regret it he ended up not getting any shoes and then getting me some so this is what they look like it's champion and it's in like black and white and it has this like little sock cuff up here and it's just so cute and then like this little platform and then here's the back with the logo and then the other side and it just looks so cute right this is like so winter vibes right now i feel like these would be good with some like sweatpants and like sweatshirt like a little outfit you know what i mean or like with some jeans some skinny jeans and like a cute crop and like um, a cardigan over it like it's just so versatile that it's just so good and the good part is that there's no laces like sometimes you like laces and then sometimes you're like ain't nobody got time to tie my shoe no so then you pop these on and then you're ready to go i've been loving them thank you baby if you're watching this i love you thank you so on to the next next item that i've been really 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 obsessed with is another clothing item mom jeans here and this is what they look like i know they look a little bit big but once Mama they're got thick. <laughs> Yeah, I did get a little bit thick. A little bit thick. That just doesn't sound right. I did gain a little bit of weight, but um, I'm, I swear if it's, I, I posted a picture of this on my Instagram, and it just, I just love it. And then you flip it around, and there's like buttons all up the middle, and then there's holes, and then some more holes, and then some folding cuffs on the bottom. But these things, I'm telling you, sis, if you have a little bit of bloat that day, and you just you just pull them up and then you button this thing up and then it's like snatched you know what i mean it just it just fits with everything it just goes with everything you know like a cute floral top or you could even do this little um bralette it's cute for winter for sure and then um you could do like a long sleeve shirt it just goes with everything and i just love that it just it, it kind of reminds me of like levi's like it's just so freaking nice and how high it goes up and like the quality of mom jeans they're just a little bit thicker than regular jeans you know so it just the way it hugs my body is just so amazing and I'm in love I got this one from forever 21 you can see the tag right here I had these ones first from Hollister you see how this one looks they're kind of similar this one has like less open holes and then um, the bottom here is like you know a straight cut and then you can fold it up you can do whatever you want and then this is the back and yeah these are just what they look like and i've just been so obsessed i bought my first pair of mom jeans now at first i was iffy i was like ah eh, like what if it looks weird what if it makes my butt look weird ladies you know there's some pants that just pancake your booty but this one it just fits so good this one fits so much better it's more tight and snug um so it fits better around your waist around your booty and the other one just it's it's, it's a little more loose 
so it just kind of hugs your body wherever and then there's like space to move but I'm in so obsessed I need like a hundred pairs of these and I'm so in love I've never felt so in love with a piece of clothing <laughs> but yeah I love this so much and then another thing that I found at forever 21 was this bad boy I normally hate low-cut shirts because I mean my chest I mean come on now I have eight cups like <sighs> they're so frustrating it's so frustrating to find shirts that fit but like say a shirt like this and then this over it it's just so cute it's a crop it has a long sleeve good for fall good for spring and then you pair it with like the mom jeans Oof, so cute and I just wanted to share with you guys another thing that I've been loving so much is this candle right here I have it lit as you can tell this is by Chesapeake Bay and it says mind and body joy and laughter cranberry dahlia and um, it's a soy wax blend candle. It contains natural essential oils. And so um, it just like when you smell it, it just makes you feel so relaxed. And the smell is not too strong. It's just very subtle that it just makes their whole room or house smell good. And it's like a very subtle smell, but you can smell it. It smells really, really good. And uh, I just love it. I just love it. This is my second one. I just bought this like what, two days ago? And it's already like, less than halfway i have it burning like all day all night so get yourself one of those i got that one from target i think you could also buy buy it at tj maxx if you have a tj maxx i think that's everything if you're curious about my nails so they're like all gray tones and this one has some gold foil on it and this is like a super silvery pearly white just been loving like gray tones natural tones like tans blacks whites grays and anything that's like neutral color i've been really loving that and i've also been loving pastel colors like the pastel pink and then like a pastel blue the mint green like that's that's just been super my vibe lately i think that's it for this video that's all i have to share with you guys those are my favorites that i've been loving and i can't live without my must-haves and I just wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys. I hope you guys love these videos because I love filming them and I love telling you guys about good products because I would want to know about good products. And um, I think I'm forgetting something. I am forgetting some things, but I'm gonna, it's more like hygiene stuff. So I'm gonna group those in one video and then I'll show you guys everything in that video. Hopefully I'll be more consistent and I'll have, I have a couple things that I want to film for you guys. So that'll probably be coming up next. I still have a Q&A, a mukbang, a hygiene video, a toxic relationship video coming, and then another lit playlist because we gotta get on some new music, and yeah, so I hope you guys are looking forward to it, hopefully the next video will be soon. I love you guys, like it, love it, or leave it. Make sure to comment and subscribe, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and that's it for this video, bye!